Thanks, Charlotte. Interestingly enough, it was Surrey that had the highest temperature last week. It was way back in Sunday with 34 degrees, but the heat wave couldn't last forever. The drought was broken and with quite a bang, wasn't it? Take a look at the lightning strikes that we had from Sunday through to Wednesday, starting off in Scotland, then they went through Wales, down along the southwest. There was a brief lull before we saw a real rash of really sharp, thundery downpours pushing up from the southeast towards Essex and into Lincolnshire. That broke the drought. It also brought some significant rain to areas where we haven't seen that much so far this summer. So in Strathallan we had 65 millimetres of rainfall. We actually had a couple of inches of rain in Keswick yesterday in fact, but it was across Wales, central and eastern England where we had more significant totals for some areas that have seen very little rainfall so far this summer. Whole Beach 152 millimetres of rain, that's twice their monthly average, and some areas in Lincolnshire hardly saw any rain at all. That's how hit and miss it was. And in actual fact, as the rain arrives through the night tonight and into tomorrow, some of us might not see that much at all. It will be heavy in places, potentially through Northern Ireland, across the Irish Sea to the Isle of Man, into northwest England and parts of North Wales. But you can see how it starts to fragment and become a little more showery through central and southern England. So there's a risk of some showers. It drifts its way steadily eastwards. Scotland will actually stay dry throughout the day. Not quite as warm warm here and that'll be the story throughout the week with 14 to 20 degrees but we'll see highest values perhaps in parts of Lincolnshire and East Anglia of 25 Celsius. That frontal system eases away. We'll see these little fronts just pepping up some showers closest to the area of low pressure and this little kink here well that could bring more persistent showery rain through the day on Tuesday across southwest England and Wales. Just how far north that's going to go we need to keep a close eye on but elsewhere well we will start to tap into some warmth across southern and eastern England, perhaps highs of 27 degrees. That's 80 Fahrenheit once again. As we move out of Tuesday into Wednesday, we still got this little weather front that could enhance some rain across Wales, northwest England and into Scotland through the day on Wednesday. A few isolated showers elsewhere, but it's all about the southwesterly flow and quite a humid feel after a very humid start to the day. Temperatures likely to peak at 28 Celsius somewhere in the southeast. That's 82 Fahrenheit. Now, as we move out of Wednesday into Thursday, I know there's a weather front that's sinking its way steadily south, but it's weakening considerably. So we're not expecting any significant rain across the southeast if you are desperate for it. Once again, Thursday looks likely to be a fine, dry day. And again, those highs of 27 Celsius. But... There is a potential Thursday night into Friday for seeing some sharp thundery downpours from this weather front. Now, don't make this the last forecast you want to see, but if you are desperate for rain across East Anglia into that southeast corner, we could see a pulse of wet weather easing away first thing on Friday, brightening up behind that northwesterly wind in the far north of Scotland, making it fresher here, 15 to 17 Celsius, a little bit cooler on Friday with 25 Celsius. It's a bank holiday weekend for England. England, Wales and Northern Ireland, dry and settled for many, but just that little bit fresher. Take care.